Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem play with words. Shaka and his brother have created a boring game which is played like this. They take a word composed of lowercase English letters and try to get the maximum possible score by building exactly two palindromic subsequences. The score obtained is the product of the length of these two subsequences. So if you're given a string, we have to find two longest uh, palindromic uh, subsequences. So if we multiply it, we will be getting a result. So that result should be the maximum. So that is the uh, objective here. Let's say A and uh, B are two subsequences from the initial string. Uh, if A, I and I of J are the smallest and the largest portion respectively, uh, B, I and uh, B, J are the smallest and the largest positions uh, from the initial word respectively in B, then the following statements hold true. So AI less than or equal to AJ, BI less than or equal to BJ, AJ less than or equal to BI, less than BI. So the two sequence should not overlap with each other. So that they have mentioned here. Hence the score obtained is the product of lengths of subsequences A and B. Such subsequences can be numerous for a larger initial word and hence it becomes harder to find the maximum possible score. Can you help Shaka and his brother find this out? Okay, so here the length of the string can go up to 3000. Still, if you consider like all possible combination of uh, uh, characters uh, to get the palindrome, uh, this will go on forever. So we have to use uh, memoization uh, in order to store the previous uh, sub results to avoid the repetition. And uh, we are going to solve it in using recursion with DP. And this is uh, one example. So here an optimal solution is uh, we have like five E's uh, that is uh, one subsequence with palindrome and uh, ski geeks. So that is another one. Uh, which has a length of uh, 10 and this has a length of 5. If you multiply it, the product is 50. So that we have to return here. And uh, yeah, we we already seen some logic that uh, we can drop some character and move to the next element. Um, like that, uh, we could do the same here. Uh, let's solve the problem and uh, we could clearly uh, see how uh, this is playing out. So first I will have length of yes which is stored in yen and after that I will initialize dp I will initialize with uh, minus 1 that means uh, it is not updated yet for i in range of n plus 1 for j in range of n plus 1 so this is a two dimensional array and the result will be 0 so this result will be like a maximum uh, product or I should call it as product itself max product equals zero initially so now for i in range of n max product equals max of max product comma helper of helper of dp dp comma 0 and uh, i and uh, yes yes is just the string so this is like a start index and end index so similarly if you multiply this with another helper function to find another uh, maximum uh, subsequence palindrome again dp i plus 1 and n minus 1 n minus 1 yes so this will uh, find the maximum possible subsequence and this will again find the maximum possible subsequence so this will be like uh, string a and this will be string b the product will be uh, considered and uh, we will be keep on iterating uh, over this loop so this is the main uh, logic Finally, I'll just return the max product. So here we have to define the helper function now. Now again, dp start, end, and uh, yes. Okay. 
now if before that base case if start is greater than end that means it is going out of index so we have to return 0 that means uh, it gone out of index and uh, if we already solved that sub problem then if dp of start and uh, end not equals minus 1 so if dp of start and end is uh, not equals uh, minus 1 means that the problem is already solved so we will return dp of start and end start and end so I will initialize result equals 0 if s of start equals s of end so if we consider like uh, two values that is start and end if both are same let's consider this e and uh, this e if both are same means we will go to the next uh, character so that will be current current length equals 2 so because uh, we are uh, passing to through two characters so we are uh, keeping track of the length so we consider like two characters but if start equals end if uh, we have only one character which have same index then we will update the current length equals 1 okay we'll just go down a little okay we have updated the current length as 1 and finally we will compute the result so current length current length plus the next sub problem we have to solve that will be helper of dp start plus 1 we are moving to the next index and end minus 1 we are uh, going back from the previous index that is from the end index and we will also pass yes so this is one case if uh, both the characters are same if both characters are same okay if it is not same if characters are not same we will go to the else part now result equals max of helper of dp comma start plus one so here we are just moving only uh, starting index and we will just keep the end index as it is and helper of dp of here in this case we will just keep the start index as it is and we are moving end index and pass yes also okay so whichever gives the maximum we will be storing it as a result and finally dp of start and end equals result so finally whichever the result we are storing we are storing it in the dp variable so we can uh, reuse it later if we again uh, see the sub problem and finally we will return dp of start dp of start and end so this will uh, solve your sub problem so this helper function will find you the maximum length palindromic sequence that are in the range so if you set the range like uh, 0 to 5 means it will uh, give you the maximum palindromic sequence that are available so we are just returning only the numbers we are not storing the actual palindromic sequences here so uh, if we trace it with an example means uh, we will be like starting from uh, uh, 0 so this will be like ignored and all these things will be like considered and uh, while traversing with i so 
let's consider like uh, we ha have uh, reached i as 5 means until 0 to 5th index we'll be ca considering the uh, values as a separate uh, palindromic sequence and this will be considered as a separate palindromic sequence so both of them will be computed and will give you a result and we will be multiplying it and storing it at the max product that's why we are keeping track of the max product we only want to store whichever is maximum let's run the code once to check everything is working fine okay I have missed a colon it didn't show me an error before let's run it again okay it solved the sample test case yeah before submitting the code we have to set the recursion limit or else it will uh, uh, give you some runtime error so set recursion limit 10 to the power of 6 and let's submit the code now it is taking some time I hope you guys uh, understood the uh, logic like uh, this logic is almost similar to how we solved the previous problem so you can see if you just uh, divide the problem into like simple cases we could easily solve it with using uh, recursion or uh, DP and as you can see we have solved all the test cases successfully and that's pretty much it guys so if you just solve or understand uh, how the problems uh, works or how the solution works so far you can easily solve uh, remaining problems as well I think this will be the last problem I'll be solving in dynamic uh, programming uh, if possible I will try to solve more problems and add it to the playlist later but so if you reach this far even if you just uh, watching the videos and solving the problem you are uh, pretty much in the top zone so you will be like a top performer and uh, you can definitely uh, solve interview questions or uh, coding questions very easily because you have gone through the logic and at least you would have uh, typed the logic uh, in the uh, console to solve the problems uh, you would have remembered all the logic and uh, that will itself will give you a uh, edge over others as a last note if you are uh, also solving the problems in lead code uh, still I would uh, rather you concentrate on hacker rank because for each section let's say for this topic if you just solve few problems you will be covering a lot more problems lead code is somewhat like repeated with uh, uh, many questions you can't solve like thousand or uh, two thousand uh, questions and uh, you, you should not do that just solve minimum uh, that will give you better results that's why I just focused on hacker rank that's how I also gone through the journey and it really helped me to save a lot of time and uh, I got pretty good results I have won so many uh, contests so just follow this approach and if you have any uh, queries apart from this please leave a comment below and I'll definitely help you uh, if you like the playlist and if you like the channel uh, just share the playlist or the channel to your friends it will be uh, very helpful for me and uh, your friends as well I hope uh, the videos are helpful to you guys and uh, just hit the like button and and I'll see you on the next video